Hey there guys, welcome to Lux Lumen GR. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the MyBoxer C2 3000 Automatic Smart Charger. This charger right here comes with a factory three year warranty on it. It does a bunch of batteries. Let me see right here. There's lithium ion, the IMR, INR, RCR, uh, ICR I mean, and the RCR. All the way down to the 26650s, then also the nickel metal hydride and the NICAD batteries, which are the quad A, triple A, double A, single A, S, C, C, and D batteries. On the back here, you have uh, some specs and some features of it. I'm going to just leave it here for you guys to pause. You guys can read through that really quick. And then on the other side right here, you have the specs for the car charger adapter that comes with it. So that's all you get is a car charger adapter. You do not get another power source. And that's how the charger looks. On the box here, it does hold two dual, let's just say dual, 26, 650 batteries and dual D batteries and stuff like that. So uh, very good charger right here. Highly recommended for... I'd say camping or going hiking, you guys leave your house and your batteries are all dead, simply just plug this thing into your vehicle and plug your batteries in there and you're set to go. By the time you get to your destination, hopefully everything will be all charged up for you. So here is the charger. You got uh, just a single button right here, a little clicky guy, a um, little slight rattle to it but nothing too annoying, you're just pushing down on it anyway. So. For one thing, it's only a slot button it's to choose the slot for whichever bay the battery is in. Um, other than that, this thing does everything automatically. Reads the internal resistance of the battery, the voltage, uh, milliamps, everything. So there's literally nothing you have to do other than put your battery inside of here. And it will choose if it is a nickel metal hydride battery, a NICAD battery, or if it's lithium ion battery. So, absolutely nothing to do physically besides switching the slot to see which slot is how each slot is charging other than that the build quality on this thing is very well done uh, there's your DC power in great I mean just a great look and layout of this charger um, it is going to be a gray and black screen once it is plugged in it comes with a little protector on it right here. What else comes in the box is your owner's manual. Now the last owner's manual they had for this MyBoxer C4 Smart Charger was a fold out style one into the size of a sheet of paper. And everything was very, very small. But on this one here, they improved everything. Made everything all, made everything much larger and more visible easier to read the uh, there's a few broken English spots in here but it's very legible and very uh, you'll be able to understand everything that's going on in this so I'm just gonna slide it across here so you guys can see everything don't want to get too much into this uh, into this guy right here also you get your charger so your charger for your vehicle and this thing does do two amps at 5 volt or 12 volt does not matter so or the output voltage is 5 to 12 volts input voltage is 12 to 24 volts so this thing is pretty much like a fast charger you may be able to use this for your well you will be able to use this for your smartphone as well so there we go um, also you get a cord right here let me kind of wrap it up so you guys can see what it looks like this little cord here it's maybe two and a half to three feet long I'm going to go with the two and a half mark. It's not a full three feet or one meter long. So basically this charger here is going to be limited on the power source you supply to the charger. So right now I'm using, let me pull it up off the charge or the thing right here. Right now I'm using the charger for my Samsung phone. This is a fast charger, so it does do charging at 2 amps. Now this charger right here, each bay will charge at 1.5 amps each. 
for a total of three amps of charging. So even though the power source going into it is only two amps, uh, there must be a current booster in here to where it boosts the current even higher and uh, allows each battery to charge at one and a half amps each. So what I'm going to do is plug it in so you guys can see the display light up and see how it looks. There you go. I really like this display. Um, actually better than the my Boxer C4 which is right here. Uh, the my Boxer C4 does have a blue backlit. So at night it is very bright but you can turn it off like so. This one here even at night time it is not very bright at all. It's more like a moonlight kind of setting so eventually it does shut off. I'm not sure if you have to hold the button and it shuts off. Yes you can. So you can hold that slot button right there and shut the the backlight of the display off. So we're just going to turn it back on for the purposes of this. Now what I'm going to do is I have uh, some batteries right here. I have an 18, two 18650s, two 18350s, and I got two nickel metal hydride, hydrate, can barely even say it, nickel metal hydrate batteries right here. They are the Eneloop Pros. Very, I really high, highly recommend these batteries as well. The capacity on these things is crazy. See, capacity on this battery is 2450 milliamps. It's nuts. It's great for a, a AA size battery. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is I'm going to slide in one of these 18650s and you guys will see how this thing just takes over after that. Literally nothing you have to do other than put it in there. It already detected that it is a lithium ion 4.2 volt battery. Uh, Right now it's charging at, oops, it just went away. So it basically will slide back and forth. And right now it's at 1.15 amps of charging. Probably because it's already at 85%. Now it's going up to 1.25 amps. It's slowly reading the battery itself. 43 milliohms, 4.11 volts. So it's got 52 minutes remaining until it's, it's completely um, charged. Now once the, if the charger does decide to throw this thing into 1.5 amps, obviously your remaining time is going to change. So what I'm going to do is put the second one here so you guys can see. There we go. Put it in place. Now we're on to slot 2. You can see the C2 right there. This one has 4 volts. Right now it's at 35 or 0.35 amps. And because it is higher in the charge than the other battery, I'm not sure if it's going to go to. Well, right now it's at 1 amp, so that one's at 1 amp. And then I'm going to go back to this guy here, and he is at 1 amp as well. Switch back over to him. There you go. Both of them are charging at 1 amp. Uh, because the capacity is already quite high in here, it's going to slowly, you know, uh, put less current into the battery so that it'll, it won't overcharge it. So, great charger. There we go. Now let's take these guys off here, and then we will see what the, how the 18350s fit in. I have yet to put those in, so set those off to the side. Just little teeny dinky guys here. Yeah, this one's at 38%. Already, already noticed it is at uh, lithium ion, 4.2 volt. Right now it's at 0 0.10 amps. And as soon as the amperage goes up, the time remaining, as you've seen it changed from seven minutes or seven hours to one hour. I'll put the second one in and we will see how these things are going. There we go, slot two and 37%. It's reading the battery right now, detecting what it can put into it, how fast it can put into it. It does everything. 3.75 volts. Now right here is the milliamp count of how much it has put into the battery. And eventually once it gets to a certain point, it will switch and tell you how, what the capacity is of the battery. So let's switch over to slot one. And it's put 11, or there we go. 12 milliamps of juice into it already. 
at 0.85 amps. 0.85 amps right there. 79 milliohms. There we go. Let's switch over to this guy and see how he is doing. And he is at 1.10 amps of juice going into it. So the longer I let this thing sit, both batteries are going to equal out each other, catch up to each other basically, and pretty much share the exact same input amperage as each other. So those guys are done. Let's take these guys out. Oh, much easier to take out. <clears throat> Let's put in the nickel metal. There we go. He is in. And right there, it already tells you that it's a nickel metal hydride or an ICAD battery. And right now it is at 0 0.20 amps, which is 200 milliamps. And it's only at 3%, so... <laughs> These things I'm probably going to leave on here and let them charge. Let's put on the second guy here. Now they don't want to charge these nickel metal hydrate or these NIM batteries. I'll just call them NIM. There we go. Do not want to charge these NIM batteries at a high amperage. So it's probably going to keep it into the middle amps, which is right there is 200 milliamps. Let's scroll through again. Exactly the same. Switch over to this guy here. We'll check it out. Oh, there we go. 0.65 milliamps on our uh, 0.65 amps on that guy, which is 650 milliamps. Let's see if this guy has changed at all. Yep, both at 650. So that's probably the max we're going to do under this battery is probably uh, 0.65 amps, which is 650 milliamps. That's probably going to be the most it's going to allow to go into the batteries, which is still, fair, which is still pretty good. So you don't want to go past that 700 milliamp uh, mark with these batteries. So that's all said and done. <clears throat> and again, like I said, I'm gonna unplug this thing really fast so you guys can see that the charger does obviously slip right in there. And there we go. Now if I do have time in the day, at the end of this video, I will probably add um, how this thing does on a car. So basically when the wife gets back from the grocery store, then I will use her car because her car is cleaner than mine. And we will dive in there and we'll see how this thing works while charged into a vehicle. Okay, so stay tuned. Alright guys, inside the wife's vehicle. I'm just going to go and plug this right inside here. We'll see how it lights up. Lights up as normal. C2 3000. Uh, hence the 1.5 amps each, which is going to be uh, 1500 milliamps. Times that by two, going to get your 3000. So let's start off with the 18650s. And we will see how well. I'm going to put both of them in actually. Going to see how well this does. Give it a second to read the battery. There we go. 0.5 amps. There we go. 1.05 amps to slot two. Then we'll go to slot one here. And we'll see. One and a half amps. Jump back to slot two. Let's see. 1.25 amps. So this thing does charge as directed. Now let's try the 18350s. Sure, if we go bouncing around here. 18350s are in slots. And we'll see what they're going to start charging at. This is off 150 milliamps and they work their way up. Let's see how this one's at. 1.05 milliamps. Slot 2. 1.2 amps. Let's go back to slot 1. 
Just see if they equal each other out. I don't know. 1.10 amps. So you will get easily 1 amp plus um, while charging through the vehicle port right there. Do -do. Now let's put in the nickel metal, the NIM batteries. There we go. I'm not going to say that nickel metal hydrate because I keep messing it up. So there we go. That guy's in place, I think. Oh, yep, he is. I'm actually looking through the, my, <laughs> the screen of my phone, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to put these things in here. Now, I've, oh my goodness gracious. Now let me show you guys one thing. It does have reverse protection. So if I put this thing in here, like so, we should get an error. And that we did. So we got an error. Put it back in like so. Push it in there. There we go. Yep, yep both centered. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Get 200 milliamps on slot two. Let's jump back to slot one. Get 900 milliamps out of that guy. Wow. It's pretty crazy. So obviously the vehicle is putting out more voltage than my, uh, or more amperes than the charger I have in the house. Times keep changing on it. Again, they're only at 6% on that one. And slot one is 7%. But, oh, we're getting 900 milliamps. So again, this, this charger does read the batteries. It does control the temperature, so it'll read the temperature. It reads everything it can with these batteries to make sure they're getting their full potential of charging and so that it does not overcharge or discharge. Now, that's one thing this thing does not do. This does not discharge like the C4 does, which on the go, you really don't have to discharge your batteries on the go, so... Everything does work out great. Uh, let me see if I can turn the backlight on or off. Yeah, that's with the backlight off inside the vehicle. Turn it back on. There we go. A little bit brighter. But not necessary. So, there we go. 650 milliamps to this one. To slot 2. We'll go back to slot 1. It is receiving 900 milliamps. Which is 0.9 amps, so this thing does work as directed. Uh, great charger, like this one right here. Slot one's got 34 minutes till high or till it's full. This guy here, because it is only putting in 650 milliamps, it's this time remaining four hours and 53 minutes. So, not sure what's up with that, but it'll probably change. But yep, great charger, highly recommend it. Does everything it's supposed to do. And that's that's about it. Like I said, great charger, if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment in the comment box below. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Uh, it does help uh, encourage me to do more videos. So right now I'm building flashlights, uh, doing modded, modded flashlights for people. So. That's why I haven't been doing very many videos at all. Uh, also along with my uh, with work. Work's been crazy. So again, this is the MyBoxer C2-3000 charger. Uh, on the go charger, which is obviously ideal with this thing here. Because it pushes out a lot of amps to the batteries as directed. So great charger. Again, please give it a like if you guys liked the video. Uh, have any questions, comments, uh, leave in the comment section. Until next video, I'll see you guys later.